What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I have another Clone Wars review. This time it is Season 2, Episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they're titled Holocron Heist, Cargo of Doom, Children of the Force, and Senate Spy. If you like these Clone Wars reviews and want to see more of them in the future, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. There will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. And now the cast of these episodes. You have Corey Burton as Cad Bane. James Arnold Taylor as Obi-Wan and Plo Koon. Matt Lanter as Anakin Skywalker. Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano. Seth Green, Toto. Tom Kane as Yoda and the narrator. Flo DeRay as Jocasta Nu. D. Bradley Baker is Ord Innocence and Bola Rapal and the Clones. Gwendolyn Yeo is Cato. T.C. Carson is Mace Windu. Ian Abercrombie is Darth Sidious. Matthew Wood is the Battle Droids and Poggle the Lesser. Tom Kenny is Newt Gunray. Catherine Tabor is Padme. And Robin Atkin Downs is Clovis. Episode 1 Holocron Heist. Aired October 2nd, 2009. On Cartoon Network, it's directed by Justin Ridge and written by Paul Dini. The moral is, a lesson learned is a lesson earned. On Felucia, Obi-Wan and Anakin are in retreat. They board the gunships and go to pick up Ahsoka and her troops as she didn't follow orders to retreat. Back on Coruscant at the temple, reporting to the council, Ahsoka is assigned to guard the archive as penance for disobeying orders. Elsewhere, on Coruscant, Cad Bane is contacted by the Sith Lord, Darth Sidious. He wants the Duros to steal a Jedi holocron. Bane agrees only after securing triple his usual rate in a starship with all the bells and whistles. He also recruits a Claudite changeling to impersonate a dead Jedi, Ord Innocence. That Claudite is to act as the man inside. Bane and Toto break into the temple, Cato as Ord Innocence is confronted by Jocasta Nu, and the changeling takes her shape, but Ahsoka finds out and arrests Kato. Yoda senses a disturbance in the Force and puts the temple on alert. Bane gets into the holocron vault and claims a holocron. He leaves disguised as a Jedi. Just as Kato is being escorted out, she tells the Jedi that Bane is next going after Bola Rapal, keeper of the Kyber Crystal, which contains a list of every Force-sensitive child in the galaxy. Episode 2, Cargo of Doom, which aired October 2nd, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Rob Coleman and written by George Kerstick. The moral is, overconfidence is the most dangerous form of carelessness. Having captured Bola Rapal and taken the crystal, Cad Bane needs a Jedi to open the holocron. He tries to get Rapal to open it, but he refuses and is tortured to death. Anakin and Ahsoka board the Separatist ship, Bane is using from Newt Gunray. The bounty hunter lures Ahsoka into a trap and forces Anakin to open the holocron so she doesn't get sucked out an airlock, and Bane flees. Our heroes board a shuttle and a clone kills Bane, but is injured and unable to get the holocron. They leave the destroyed vessel. Episode 3, Children of the Force, which aired October 9th of 2009 on Cartoon Network. It's directed by Brian Kaylin O'Connell, written by Henry Gilroy and Wendy Miracle. The moral is the first step to correcting a mistake is patience. Cad Bane turns out to not be dead. He escapes. Darth Sidious asks him to choose four children and to take them to a facility on Mustafar. The Jedi meditate to try and find out where Bane went to take the kids, Rhodia, Gleansom, and Naboo. But none go to Gleansom as that child has already been taken. Obi-Wan goes to Rhodia, and Anakin and Ahsoka go to Naboo. On Rhodia, Cad Bane leaves with the kid just as Obi-Wan arrives, and on Naboo, Bane is captured trying to take the Gungan child. Bane takes Obi-Wan and Mace Windu to the Holocron and escapes. Anakin and Ahsoka discover Bane went to Mustafar and go and rescue the Nautilin and the Rhodian children, but they fail to discover who wanted the kids in the first place. Episode 4, Senate Spy, which aired October 16th of 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Melinda Hsu. Moral is, a true heart should never be doubted. Suspicious of Senator Rush Clovis of the Binking Clan, 
Dealing with the Separatists, the Jedi ask Padme to spy on him as they have a history, much to Anakin's chagrin. The two senators go to Cato Nemoidia, and Padme does find evidence in the shape of plans of a large battle droid factory on Geonosis. She gets the plans to Anakin, but she has been poisoned. Lot Dodd only gives the antidote because Clovis holds him at gunpoint. Our heroes get away. What I liked for Holocron Heist. This was a fun heist episode with Cad Bane, as, you know, he's a great bounty hunter and a great character. For Cargo of Doom, um, uh, Cad Bane, I guess, was the best part of this episode. For Children of the Force, it's cool to see Mustafar. And for Senate Spy, uh, Poggle the Lesser, pretty cool. And seeing Cato Nemoidia, even briefly, is always cool. Because, I, I, again, I like seeing alien worlds and different planets and stuff like that. So that's always nice. What I didn't like for Holocron Heist, the Jedi not suspecting uh, the Holocron theft. Because they're, they're always like, why, why is someone breaking in? Oh, it's for information. Oh, it's for the... It's never because they want a Holocron. Now, yes, you need a Jedi to open the Holocron. But, I mean, come on, like... Someone capable enough could kidnap a Jedi, and depending on the Jedi, they could be broken and they open it. And that's what happens. So, for Cargo of the Doom, where uh, Anakin had to basically choose between Ahsoka or, you know, save the kids, you know, on the on the list for the Holocron. And he chose Ahsoka, which is the wrong choice because it's like, so one person's life over... The lives of little kids. I mean, we're talking babies and maybe a year old, two years old, three years old, but we're talking a bunch of little kids. I mean, there could be hundreds, if not thousands. And he chose Ahsoka over that. It's like, that's the wrong choice. For Children of the Force, there isn't anything. And Senate Spy, uh, Clovis should have known better about trusting Padme because she just came in out of the blue when he should have been suspicious, but maybe he just wanted to rekindle his relationship with Padme so but he should have known better it's a little fishy but hey well I'd give these episodes uh re rankings as this for Holocron Heist 8 out of 10 Cargo of Doom a 5 out of 10 Children of the Force 7 out of 10 and Senate Spy an 8 out of 10 well those are the ratings for this batch of episodes not a bad batch really i feel like uh season two will probably be a better season overall less less duds and less garbage uh i i do know that it has less jar jar in it which is good because he has a tendency to bring down the episode so well let me know what you thought of these four episodes in the comments down below and uh which one of the four is your favorite? And right now you can watch some more Clone Wars reviews on the screen right now. So on the top left is the my review of the episodes 15 to 18. And then on the bottom left is the final four episodes of season one. So take your pick there. And yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And until next time, thanks for watching.